How to fix WhatsApp notification not showing even though the notification is on. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimal from App Guide. In today's video, I will simply show you how you can fix the WhatsApp notifications not showing up even though the notification settings are turned on. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So sometimes the issue over here could likely be that you have WhatsApp installed on your phone, but you certainly don't receive any kind of notifications. Now, the very first thing reason could be that if you've not been receiving notifications for a particular person, it could have been because you have ignored the messages of that person. So you could go ahead and basically tap on the ignore button or anywhere. So you might have actually tapped on the ignore or you might have actually turned on mute notifications for that particular person right over here so you want to make sure that the mute notifications for the person whose notifications you're not receiving is actually turned off if that was a problem then that's perfectly fine if not then the other thing could also likely be that your do not disturb mode is turned on for example if you have do not disturb or focus mode turned on it basically is going to block all of the notifications on your phone so go ahead and then actually verify and then turn off do not disturb mode last but not the least what we will do is we will simply open up settings and over here we will go to notifications once we go to notifications tap on whatsapp and as you can see make sure the show notifications toggle is actually turned on and after that go to notification categories and over here you want to make sure that all of these toggles are actually turned on such as chat history backup critical app alerts failure notifications and so on you want to simply make sure that all these toggles are turned on and after that what you have to do is basically you have to actually come back and then make sure that you have also allowed all the permissions so we're going to come back and then we're going to go to apps and once we go to apps we will simply select whatsapp from all this list so let me just go ahead and find whatsapp and over here tap on permissions and make sure you have allowed all of the permissions above tap on it tap on the allow button and hopefully one of these would have helped solve your problem if it did help solve your problem make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video